on the fifth post-operative day. We took her stent out at about 20 days. And because of her health and uh, the inability to, de to do an EUS and, and her wishes, she then decided to undergo definitive chemoradiation therapy. Now, she did well. And this is her right before she went home with one of my partners. That's a nice photograph, but the one I'm more interested in is this one. This is her esophagus when we first met her late on a Friday night. We've placed our wire to put our stent in. And you can see that she, it's hard to see here, but she's perforated uh, just above this narrowing, which was a uh, adenocarcinoma of the esophagus, once we got the path back a few days later. Her stent's taken out after the perforation is healed. She undergoes chemoradiation therapy. And this is her follow-up endoscopy about three months later. So again, each person's practice is different. Your, your patients are different. Your politics are different. I wanted to give you a snapshot of what has worked for us. We, this has really changed our practice as far as taking care of these complex esophageal perforations and, and, and fistulae and, and hope that it will at least cause you to think about this as maybe an alternative. Thank you very much.